Hello? Hello? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why? Uh, sorry, guys and gals. <sighs> that is the weirdest freaking thing. Um, my quality is all over the place, though. Yeah, I tried turning off the multi-streaming to see if it was the multi-stream that was causing it, and uh, it, that looks like that's what fixed it. So, I don't know if it's an issue with the multi-stream on... Uh, Streamlabs end, which is entirely possible. Also, guys, I hopefully I auto saved. I freaking um, I hit I restarted the computer, thinking that was would fix the issue, and I didn't save before it closed the game. So we might have lost a little bit of time there, but hopefully not too much. So I'm. I seriously don't know what happened. All right, I'm gonna... Send... I've got support with Streamlabs on the other computer, or the other window, so I'm gonna send them the diagnostic report real quick. See what happened. All right. Okay, game's back up. Where were we at? Visitors? Okay. Expires in 1.6 days. Okay, so we missed like 24 hours of in-game time. That makes sense, because I think it auto-saves every 24 hours. Uh, did anything crazy happen in that 24 hours that we... No, I don't think so. Oh, we hadn't... Okay. <gasps> we lost Dave! We did the recruiting, and now it took the recruit out. Okay, well, next recruit is going to be named Merlin by rights, because he did win the raffle. Uh, yeah, he got Thanos snapped. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Jedi, I think you're still on the queue with the bot. No, you're not. Someone named Randy J beat you somehow, but I don't know how that's possible. I didn't see the bot award that. I might have the cube maxed at 20. I don't know why I did it that way. Or does the bot... Hmm. Is it different between Twitch and YouTube? No. No, Randy J says it was 928. PM. So that couldn't have been tonight. So how did another name get... Does it only show the top 20? Jedi, I could have sworn that you were already in here. Alright, I'm gonna redo the bot, see if that fixes it. Hey, 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 Ludwig! 
Uh, 13 months in Apprentice. Thank you for the big ups. Thank you for all the continued support. Over one year now. Sorry for the technical difficulties. <laughs> but uh, glad you're here. Thank you for that. We're just going to work on finishing out the rest of the... Uh... I might have forgotten to join the queue when you started this new game. Yeah, I'm thinking I capped my queue at 20. The support is nice on Streamlabs, but I'm also like... Well, I turned the bot back on, or off and back on again, Jedi. So if you want to try it one more time, I'm surprised if I'm maxed out, it doesn't give an error. I don't know. I had... Javian's pigging out on food. Our master's having a creative binge. Actually, you know what? With my technical difficulties, I wouldn't be surprised that the bot is still out of commission. Wait, try lowercase j. I know that sounds oddly specific, but I'm trying really hard. All right, let me refresh the bot, see if that worked. I don't know, I'm just trying to rule out anything finicky. Man, really? I don't know, it is a finicky night. I can't believe... Um, Oh, they closed the support conversation. Okay, I need to know... I need to figure out why it killed my stream. Because it's it did that during... Didn't do the... Find my words. Didn't it do that during Sophie? Oh, no, it was Fire Emblem where it killed the stream. Yeah, that's why I have two Fire Emblem streams. Yeah, sorry, Jedi. I don't know why. All right. Let's do these recruiting festivals. I hope we get Merlin. And we'll have completely new stats this time. I'm sure it'll pull something completely different from RNG. And then we'll do it again. Oh, I gotta load up. I forgot to load up Discord. Okay. Colonist needs treatment. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're getting caught back up to where we were. Terrible, just fair. Well, <laughs> there goes the, the recruit that we got last time. So we're in a new timeline now. We'll do another one in the, the next day. Alright, Darn Sig successfully calmed down Davian. I felt like I was working on something else. My mind went completely blank when I got disconnected for a bit there. Now I can't remember what I was doing. Oh well.
I can open up this hallway now since we have this walled off. We got the geothermal generator connected to the network. Oh, we got to rebuild this wall here. So that way people can't sneak in through this way. Man, all those freebies we had from the guests too. We had people giving us free components and free medicine. Man, I should have... I should have, like, insta-saved. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> We're taking the whole calling down a whole completely different alternative universe. Oh, here we go. We got a gift. Plasteel this time. Not as valuable as components. But it's something. Oh, I realized I need to do something else. Before I forget. Remind you guys I have another stream later. <laughs> Put the redirect onto that. Hopefully that stream goes better. Actually, I want to check Discord. Did it think? Huh. Streamlabs thought I went live like five times trying to restart the stream. But nothing on Twitch or uh, YouTube. Hunter lacks ranged weapon? She has one right there. There you go. Had to remind her to use it. Alright. Wait. Why would... Things are being weird. Fiesta of violence? I can only invite three people? Oh, there's a marriage ceremony. Never mind. Alright, who's getting married? <gasps> McDougal and Karma Kid! Yeah, I'm blocking it. That's why I couldn't have another festival. Now I should be able to fit everyone into the next festival. I refuse to recognize their union. Why? It puts them in the same bed together. It frees up a bedroom for Merlin when I finally recruit him. Can I build a roof over a birch tree? Well, chop it down. All right, please get a new recruit. I hate losing the coin flips. A terrible fiesta of violence? All right, I hate this alternate timeline. We've get, had two terrible festivals in a row? The quality was 100%. 100% terrible. How do you fail that badly? Okay, that's a 5% chance for it to be terrible at a 100% quality. I have rolled 5% two festivals in a row. It's a 1 in 20. I have I have critically failed. <laughs> I rolled a 1, a nat 1 on my d20 twice now. Oh well. Alright, let that quest expire because I don't... I'm tempted to... I was tempted for the Resurrector Serum, but I don't want 
to go hunt that stuff. Alright, the next day we'll try to do an Awoken Ceremony. And then I have, what, Advent of Justice? Okay, we got, we got two more ceremonies we can do. We'll see how it goes. Ooh, Shack of Treasure. A power claw and a low shield pack. It's guarded by five pirates. Uh, low shield packs are awesome. I love using those either on defense or offense. It doesn't look like it's that far away. I say it doesn't look that far away. It's three days. But we can bring Muffalo. Hey, what's up, stranger? Yeah, I've watched Edge Runners. I uh, I binged it last week. No, not least last week. The week before when it came out. But uh, it might just be time to lay in bed and read One Piece. Well, Karma will like hearing that. I haven't read One Piece. Well, beyond the first chapter, where he becomes the One Piece. Edge Runners is bringing Cyberpunk back. I haven't looked at the numbers. Uh, how is Cyberpunk doing lately? I just finished it today, that ending tugging at my heartstrings. Man, I can't listen to that song now. Uh, without going... <gasps> <laughs> just I get hitched up a little bit every time I hear that song insanely well it's surging I knew it was surging I knew they were like at what 85,000 peak players I wasn't sure if it surged past that what is it steam chart not stream chart steam chart I should play Cyberpunk. Oh, I've been playing Cyberpunk. Uh, should I stream it? I, pr I would like to stream it. I just didn't fit it in on the schedule this week. Um, that song playing in your car in the game. I think it's copyright. So when I turn on the don't play copyright music, uh, we won't hear it on the stream. Sadly. But... Uh, it was cool that they were able to take the songs from in the game and fit it into the anime. And even a song like the ending song. Uh, or it's like, okay, yeah, this is a neat song. But then when you put the Lucy and David relationship over it, then it's like, oh my god, this song's a masterpiece. And all they did was change the context in which it's played. So instead of it being on the radio, it's, you know, for the final scene it's way past that now uh, how do you look at steam games by concurrent players let's google search it it is steam charts cyberpunk peaked at 102,000 players today Today, it's number eight. The only games ahead of Cyberpunk are all free to play. PUBG, TF2, Destiny 2, Apex, Lost Ark, Dota 2, and CSGO are all free to play. That's awesome. Cyberpunk's a generic sci-fi GTA, but good on him for turning it around. Uh, like, it pains me for you to say it's generic. But, like, I guess if you just don't like the atmosphere of, a, of cyberpunk, of that kind of sci-fi, then I don't know what to tell you. Oh, we found steel. That's actually important. 
Ooh, we found it nearby, too. I'm not saying that because I'm angry. You can change the appearance of your purple hair dude now. <laughs> I did go back and change his appearance as soon as they added that in. I was like, oh, thank God I can fix my mistake. Crap. No, 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 you can't hunt our dog for food. Oh my god, who's nearby? I, we love our Great Dane. Oh, crap. Our Great Dane's gonna freaking die. Oh, can I tell him to come inside? Oh, can I tell him to go to area one? Maybe that'll get him out of the way. He got stunned. Oh, crap. Quick summon John Wick. Yeah. Josh and Baron are my two closest. Bit off the tail. Death in three hours. Bit off the jaw, killed. I don't want these guys to die to it though. Oh wait, Baron's got good shooting, Josh has good shooting. We out we're going John Wick on this thing. I do like that they added outfits into Cyberpunk. So you don't have to wear the goofiest looking stuff for the stats. You can actually basically have World of Warcraft transmogrifying now in uh, in Cyberpunk. Which, again, with how much of the universe is tied around aesthetics, you know, uh, looking, lo it's important to look good. Oh, no, no, no. Don't move there. Uh, drafted Hunt. No, that's not the right button. What are you aiming at? I told them to hunt it, right? Why won't they... Oh, okay. Now they're shooting the ward. There we go. All right. You guys can... Oh, I paused it. I love sci-fi. The Cyberpunk 2077 IP can go places, I'm absolutely sure. But the game itself... Oh, yeah. I, that's a criticism I've I've seen. It's like... CD Projekt Red should give Cyberpunk to another studio that has either the capability, the know-how, or... Um, I don't know. Can do better... Because, like, they gave it to Studio Trigger and they made an amazing 10-episode anime. But, uh, whoever said that this is... Yeah, Blazing, you said this is the No Man's Sky of this generation. I absolutely agree. I think the game is on... Uh, is definitely on a resurgence. The anime helped people feel more in tune with the universe, I think. Like, the setting and everything. Uh, and then there's DLC that's coming out next year so uh, the game's still got some life to it I don't think I don't think this is the end of Cyberpunk No Man's Sky was a huge thing when it happened yeah but it's it's turnaround has also been incredibly huge as well
right? It'd be awesome if they made a cyberpunk VR. <laughs> like a cyberpunk brain dance. I had a hard time trying to explain to Jill what brain dances were because she hadn't got she hasn't gotten very far in the game, so she didn't get to that that segment yet. Cyberpunk 2077 wasn't ready for release when it did. And same with No Man's Sky. I think I talked about this on another stream, but yeah, absolutely. I I'm fine with games getting delayed. If they, uh, if they come out and they're good. Like, think of all the delays that Breath of the Wild 2 has had. But, I, I haven't played Breath of the Wild 1, but I, I know Nintendo. When Breath of the Wild 2 comes out, it's going to be phenomenal. I have a feeling. I'm a Nintendo fanboy, though, but still. And Nintendo also seems like a kind of company that goes, Hey, we need more time, you know. We're not going to rush it. You know, we're not going to let men in suits who have like a bottom line go rammer rammer. This needs to come out. You know, we spent too much money on this or whatever. I don't know if I think Cyberpunk can make that big of a turnaround because it never fell that low. I guess that's fair. We know Will does brain dances with anime waifus. God, that would be kind of freaky, uh, an anime brain dance. You'd probably stop watching anime after you had one of those. <laughs> uh, I guess I think brain dances in general are just kind of freaky. but we don't have a direct <laughs> brain to technology interface like they do in cyberpunk so it's it's hard to imagine what that would feel like i don't even think vr comes close to scratching what brain dances are like since it's a direct interface with your brain and from what it looks like in Cyberpunk, they can edit, like, hormonal responses in your brain to make you feel scared or uh, other emotions or even tra uh, trigger painful feedback and stuff, too. So it feels really, really real, like the Matrix. But it's just a little chip in your head. Uh, hey, I'm going to guess your name is useless backwards. Thank you so much for the $2 super chat and hello right back at you. Hope you're having a good night. Thank you for the support. Especially after all my technical difficulties tonight. Ghost in the Shell cybernetic brain implants are the future. How much data is in the human brain again? I think we've asked this question before. Uh, Google says two and a half million gigabytes. A petabyte means a thousand terabytes. Wait, yeah. So wouldn't this just be one and a half petabytes? A million, no, two and a half petabytes. A million's a thousand thousands, right? So we have to turn gigabytes into terabytes, that's a thousand. And another thousand terabytes into a petabyte. So we have this issue of... 
You're a useless princess in battle server. Gotcha. That's I, I thought it was familiar to see the name backwards. Hey, I'm glad you're checking out the stream. Hope hope you're enjoying it so far. Despite my many technical mishaps. Uh, not my fault. YouTube kicked me off and then Streamlabs wouldn't let me back on, so I blame I blame things beyond my control. I would do a lot of brain dances to eat delicious food and not have to worry about gaining weight. Well, I guess that makes sense because in Cyberpunk, the food is all synthetic. Like, I noticed this uh, when I was playing uh, yesterday or the day before, that there's billboards for synthetic beef. But it's it's beef that wiggles when you eat it. I was just like, why? Like, I know they're talking about making food from bugs... In our timeline. In our time. But synthetic meat, I'm like, okay, that makes sense. But then also, why would you make it wiggle? Why would you make... It's not, it's not dead all the way if it's still wiggling. <laughs> but I guess the other thing too is like the really rich corpos in Cyberpunk... They eat real f uh, food. What do you mean making food from bugs? Haven't we eaten them for millennia? Have we eaten bugs for millennia? I... I don't think we go... I don't think we actively go out of our way. There are loads of bugs eaten by various cultures. Oh. There's my ignorance showing. I don't know. I can't think of any cuisine that I know. Where it's... Bug focused. If you want to get really technical, a lot of... Seafood is close to bugs. They're all isopods. Uh, that is true. Uh, I do know seafood shellfish gets compared to bugs a lot. They look the same, though, don't they? They have the antennas and the clickety-clackety legs and stuff. You haven't lived until you've eaten a chocolate scorpion. Okay, I can understand as, like, a delicacy or a weird thing, but I mean, like... Are, are there cultures that, like, their main food is grasshoppers or scorpions? No, I don't think so. Because I've had... I've seen the... I've had crickets or grasshoppers. I don't know where it is where they make, like, the fried grasshoppers and they, they put, like, ranch seasoning on them and you can eat them like chips um really gross oh africa yeah i don't know african culture very well but i guess that makes sense chocolate scorpions i know they have like scorpions and like lollipops in in mexico right Not necessarily main dish unless you're a starving family. I see. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Is like uh, bugs or synthetic meat being made as a as a main food source for a, a population. And I, I I thought there was a trend recently of scientists looking at. Uh, bugs as a source of high protein food to try to like solve world hunger or something or to get us off of meat because <laughs> cattle ranching is not good for the environment
The main issue I hear with edible insects is that people either try to eat them raw or when they fry them, they try to spice them so much the flavor becomes disgusting. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what you do for bugs. <laughs> That's not... <laughs> I don't know. I know. I know there's all sorts of weird things you can eat. Yes, that's the name of the song, Stranger. Uh, if the rest of the world abandons cattle ranching, I'll do it myself. If it's illegal, I'll work towards buying a small island and make my own country. <laughs> Underground <laughs> black market cattle ranching. No, that's what they do in Cyberpunk, though, is because of some famine or some something happened in the history of the, before the game takes place that uh, made food really scarce. And so uh, to try until the farms could get, get back up to speed, they started, you know, eating lab grown meat and had all this synthetic meat. And then when food, Normal food re-entered the market. It was too expensive for the regular people to eat. So now it's just like a, a the rich corporates only eat it. And then everyone else has to eat tofu or whatever. One thing I'm looking forward to is synthetically grown meat. Right now we can't make it very big, but it can, grow, it can be grown into tiny slices of minced meat. <laughs> That's almost like some alchemy stuff, though. <laughs> So cyberpunk is the future passive now. Man, I should just do a cyberpunk stream so I can talk about the cyberpunk anime for one. And I, I just put it in the title. It's the future. It's the F. Wait, I don't know what you're trying to say. Useless. I'll let you re redo that one, and I'll try it. I'll take a guess again. <laughs> Your brain broke typing that. <laughs> you short-circuited yourself. Watching you play Cyberpunk while I'm playing Cyberpunk will be awesome. Yeah, maybe I should put Cyberpunk on the schedule and capitalize on the Edge Runner hype. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about this in a, another chat about uh how cyberpunk is like the gross inadequacies of capitalism turned oh I'm getting political now, but it's like capitalism turned to like twenty. Consider playing Kingdom Two Crowns? I don't know what that is. What kind of game is that? It's a roguelike city builder. Okay, hang on. We're going to do the alt tabaroo. I'll go to the Steam page. It said Kingdom. Two crowns. 20 bucks? Strategy, Pixel, Adventure, Indie, 2D. And player two, in Kingdom 2 Crowns, players must work in a brand new solo or co-op campaign mode to build their kingdoms and secure it from the threat of the greed. New technology, new units, enemies, mounts, and secrets in the next evolution of the award-winning micro-strategy franchise. I barely missed the sale. Oh, I'll wishlist it, and then when it goes on sale again, I'll grab it. Ten friends already own this game. One friend wants this game. Similar to RimWorld and Terraria. Oh, that's a good combo. All right, we wishlisted it. Oh, quest available. Trade with Gelruser. Okay, we can get a legendary mono sword, a Persona mono sword. It's Psy Meditative. 
This weapon's persona is naturally meditative and helps its wielder in psychic meditation. Gains an extra 10% of psi focus. Man, do we really care about that? Persona weapons attack faster than normal weapons, though, right? 19.24. Hundred and thirty six melee penetration. Oh, maybe we just want the legendary mono sword instead. This thing does almost twenty DPS. Wait, you can't use a mono sword with shields? I thought you could. Oh, it says the Zeus hammer isn't usable with shields. But it, Arrow has a shield belt and he's able to use it fine. Alright, I'm sure we can use this. Oh, but there's an Arcotech leg. Recon armor and 500, almost 500 uranium. All the tech melee weapons are two-handed for balance. I see. It's, not, it's a shield in the offhand, not a shield belt. I, man, I really want the Arcotech leg. The estimated travel time is 15 days? Oh, I've played a lot of Vampire Survivors, and I have 20 minutes till dawn. I haven't checked, I haven't played that on stream yet. But that was gifted to me to play. Arcotech leg. Alright. We're accepting it for the Arcotech leg. We got 21 days to make 26 military uniforms. Well, Mares, you're gonna be busy for a while. Alright, don't use up our hyperweave making it though. Yeah, you know, don't use our cloth either. Focus on using all the muffalo wool and the plain leather. Actually, you know what? Make it out of plain leather first. <laughs> plain leather, blue fur, and muffalo wool. Yeah, that should leave us plenty. And then make... Oops. 26. All right. But yeah, I want to check out 20 minutes till dawn. Yeah, it's cold, our plants are gonna die. Can we harvest these real quick before they're... Prioritize, prioritize plant cutting for a bit. <laughs> they died off. I should have said cut it earlier. Hey, what's up, CL? It's nice to see we're nearly out of village. We're a... We're a pretty big space, I think. Life is Strange True Colors is a wonderful story game for stream. Uh, we'll see. I don't know if I'll get be able to get around to that. Yeah, I am back, Javian. How are you doing today? If you're in the old stream, I don't know what happened that killed it. Did I get everything sorted out? Um, I couldn't, I didn't find my wallet, but, uh, I got the, all the new stuff ordered, uh, yesterday and today. Uh, should have my new driver's license here soon. Should have my new cr credit cards here soon. Bulk goods trader. We like those. If 
we want a good story game that's funny, Sam and Max is still a good game that holds up. Yeah. I haven't played those, but those are goofy. Uh, I don't know if I... My problem with playing the story games is I feel like I gotta... Be quiet and let the story stuff go. And then it's like, I'm not I'm not really doing my job a whole lot as a streamer. I got my wallet lost or stolen. Yeah, I lost my wallet... Friday, I think. Because I went to look for it Friday night. Because I was like, oh, I need to renew my license. I was like, I couldn't find it. And then I started searching for it Friday night. After streaming with the gondola. I stayed up till like 1 in the morning and couldn't find it. Started to get anxious, went to bed, woke, and I woke up. I was like, alright, it'll be daytime, I'll have the sunlight, I can look outside, look in my car, I'll find it there. Didn't find it. I was like, oh my god, it's still really bad. Was that the bite of 87? I don't know why you want me to say that, but there you go. And then, uh, so then, like, okay, so Saturday I was gonna stream RimWorld, and I was... I, I stayed up late the night before, I got up super early because I couldn't sleep, and I'm just, like, ultra stressed because I can't find my wallet. So I say, alright, uh, I'm gonna cancel the stream, try to focus on calming down and figuring out what I can do. That's why I'm still such a caveman, keep my wallet on a chain, I know I would lose it otherwise. This is the first time this has ever happened to me, and I'm damn near 33 years old. So, I'm gonna get one of those AirTag, credit card shaped AirTags. So my new wallet, I'm gonna put that bad boy in there, and then I'll have a Bluetooth tracker. And so then when I go, oh my god, I can't find my wallet, I can just go, oh wait, it's right here. Boop. Um, okay, so... Oh, this guy has Great Danes. We can replace Paco. I mean, there was only ever one Paco, but we can get Great Danes and train them. Remember Will Hakuna Matata? Yeah, my, my friend told me that to calm down, I need to worry about what I, I can control and let go of the things that I can't control. And one of the things I can't control is losing my... F is Losing my wallet once it's already lost. And then focus on getting a new one ordered. Why do we have a poor quality military uniform? Get rid of that. Hey, no problem, Jay. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you got whatever you needed out of that meme. Okay, so... This might be controversial. But I'm probably going to sell off... We're going into winter and I have no hay stockpiled for my animals. So I might sell off everything. How do I feel about Lady Dimitrescu? Uh... I don't know. She was cool. She was scary. Uh, crazy boss fight in the game. But yeah, I, it's either sell them for money now or they starve to death and then I sell them and I eat their meat later. But I don't need their meat right now, so. No more muffalo furs. I might keep two males. So that way when more females wander on, I can get back to animal husbandry. So we'll keep two bulls. Actually, are these juveniles? Okay, we'll keep two juveniles. So they'll grow up through the winter. Yeah, we won't have any milk either. Actually, in that case, should I keep two calves? And they might, they'll grow up. Okay, we'll keep two male muffalo. Should I just get a whole bunch of Great Danes, though, in the meantime? <laughs> the Great Danes, I think, are, they'll eat meat, so they'll be easier to keep happy. Uh, losing one Great Dane sucks. Your best bet is sell the animals, keep at least one male and one female to keep the breeding. Okay, I'll keep a... I'll keep two males, and I'll keep two 
young females of each buffalo and, and cow. So they won't be getting bred during the winter, so that gives them time to mature. And then hopefully when spring comes around, we can get back to what we were doing. I got a sleep. I don't know that meme, I'm sorry. But have a good night, Useless. Thank you for hanging out with us tonight. And thank you for the $2 super chat. Alright. I got my plan. I'll look it up. Hey, Icky. Uh, the stream's been fun, except for the uh, Streamlabs crashing earlier and not letting me back on. But we're back. So we're doing good so far. I want dogs that aren't old so they don't. My GF messaged me while I was playing, said, no, I think Will crashed. Yeah, I, uh, I, it was really strange. Like there was no error messages. The last time I crashed during Sophie was I was in the menus too long and that caused too much latency and then YouTube dropped me. But this was kind of like what happened during Fire Emblem where it was, I'm playing along, stream's doing okay, and then it just kicked me. But unlike Fire Emblem, where when I got kicked, I was able to just pop right back onto the stream. This time I got kicked and I couldn't restart the stream. Closed all the way out of Streamlabs, restarted my computer the whole nine yards. I come back on, I still can't start. So then I tell the stream, okay, um, just YouTube. We're not going to multi-stream. Can I just go to live on one service? And I, it, it started YouTube up right away. So something's really... I, I'm going to blame Streamlabs for this one. I think it's their fault, but I uh, don't know 100% for sure yet. All right. Well, I want all your components. I want all your advanced components. Yeah, it was very unfortunate. Oh, they have steel. We like steel. Actually, I think we're in a decent spot. We'll be getting two new dogs. We'll be selling off almost all of our animals. I'll get all the components. I don't think I need anything else from these guys. We'll get 2,000 more silver. Yay, new doggies. We didn't get pugs, but we got Great Danes. Hopefully we can tame them. No, I don't have anyone with an animal level high enough to bond with the wolf. Interesting. Okay, hopefully I can keep two bulls, two calves, and a few muffalo. Hey, what's up, Baron Von Comet? Yeah, you're still alive. Or if you're talking about my stream, my stream's still alive. Even though I got kicked earlier. Alright, let's, um... Okay, our guests are fine. No one's cooking anything. All right, let's start. Let's start the party. I I also crashed after I had recruited someone too. And then we've started up. We've done two festivals. We haven't had good luck with the festivals. So there's already been a name picked. So I just got to get one more guy. So I can name the person who won the raffle <laughs> still gets in the game. It's not his fault Streamlabs crashed and I restarted my computer before I could save. Alright, please be a good festival.
Okay. Oh! This is Darn Sig's fiance has joined us. Okay. Well, this is Merlin, because Merlin won it last time. Was it this playthrough? Or am I thinking of an... No, I think it was this playthrough. We've been playing for some time, and we have, what, 17 colonists now? And it took us a while to find someone who had a passion for mining to start digging out the quarry we made. It is weird sometimes we'll just end up with a pawn who's just like, eh, I don't want to do this. Wait, ideal legend for bids? They're fiancés. Oh, maybe they have to be, like, married, married. Alright, Merlin, what are you good at? Intellectual, melee, mining, cooking. Oh, God. Uh, well, you are now... <laughs> well, you can mine, I guess. I don't need you working on plants. Well, maybe? No, you don't even have a passion for it. Don't bother cooking, that's darn Sig's job. <laughs> I guess research, hauling, and cleaning. Sorry, you're a dedicated... <laughs> Merlin's a dedicated, uh... Maid. This is the best way to put it. Oh, wait. The military uniforms are for... No, I guess you can wear it. We'll make one more. Hey, what's that? Made misery. Did I say made? Yeah, his job is going to be picking up and cleaning. Hey, what's up, silent guy? I'm looking at the UI. I don't know what I'm seeing. You were looking at um, uh, a simulator game or a colony management game. We have all of our people, all of our resources are listed along the left here, and then all my commands are listed lo along the bottom. I'm not saying there's anything shameful about being a maid, there's just no maid stat that he can, he can level up. <laughs> Someone has to clean the colony. You know, cleanliness is very important because Dirty rooms make people depressed, and when they get depressed, they uh, they start lighting fires, or eat all the food, or binge on all the alcohol, or dig up all the bodies. The other thing, too, is we need to keep our hospital clean so people don't get infections when they're sick. You know, Merlin can go take care of that whenever he feels like it. And what's also important too is having someone dedicated to picking up is they they'll grab and um, put everything into their maximum uh, piles, which for the fur, for example, is like 75 units. So he'll look and see like a 43 and a 32 and go, oh, I should put if they were the same fur, for example, he'd try to put them together to make it a 75. Good news, we got rid of the dirt floors. Bad news, now we have to sweep them. Yeah. Yeah, when you have dirt floors, they're dirty, but they can't get dirtier. So you have a... F it's like when you talk like a floor and a ceiling for like your stats or something, it's literally the bottom, but it can't get any worse. So you don't have to clean it up. But then when you put tiled flooring down, then people walking back and forth, they track dirt all over. And then people don't like this room because it's dirty. We are actually... We have a lot of cooked food. Oh, we actually have fine meals. Oh, okay. All right. We're just getting low on simple food. Um, all right, we'll probably suspend cooking fine meals and just focus on simple meals through the winter. We can hunt the horses. We don't need 
to ride anywhere. Don't need to try to tame them. Uh, because we don't have any food for animals right now. Well, we have our small herd that we're, <laughs> we're keeping. But we can't really afford uh, to try to tame a, any larger of a pack. speed up since it's nighttime. The other thing I need is I need them to clean out the sandstone. <laughs> Alright, well they're bringing the yaks in but they're not butchering them. Well, maybe Darn Sig and Merlin will get married. Oh, we have one more festival. We can do the Advent of Justice. Alright, so we have one more opportunity for uh, recruiting. Javian's in a work frenzy. Right, how are we doing on military uniforms? We have eight. Two of them are poor quality? Three of them are poor quality. We need to make... <laughs> we need normal quality or better for this trade quest. Oh, okay. Gift from the nation. A uranium knife and a short bow. Alright, thanks guys. Next time, bring medicine or components. Do we have someone dedicated to training animals? No, I think everyone's like a three or a four. Oh, we can lower this. Does McDougal have interest in animals? No. Is there anyone with a burning passion for animals? Not our master. Josh might be. Yeah, okay. I want Josh to focus on training, especially since there's no plants to grow. Man, it'd be it'd be too convenient if the they could show us on the work page who has burning passions in uh different areas oh baron has a burning passion for animals and i don't think much else all right all right baron i want you to tame teach the dogs new tricks like how to clean up Uh, what do we want to learn under here? Oh, carpet making could be good. Since we were talking about floors earlier. We don't have to have stone floors. Nice to find a plant that flowers every season like potatoes. Well, you have to have the growing environment for it. Hey, what's up, Ride Drake? 
Um, the bot, I, I've been having problems with Streamlabs tonight, so the bot might not add you. And we'll have to get you next time. Yeah, it didn't add you. Sorry about that. I've tried turning it off and back on again, but I don't I really don't know why I can't get it to go. There, I tried clicking it again. Let's see if that does anything. I, I've clicked it off and on a few times. Skynet and their dumb bots. I, I don't know. I was... I got kicked off of my stream earlier. It wouldn't let me... Uh, boot back up onto Twitch and YouTube. I had to pick just YouTube in order to go back online. Alright. Well, some mechs have decided to show up. Surprisingly, it's in the same zone where we've fought mechs before. So, this is a psychic droner. It'll affect all the men in the colony. We can try to shell it from afar. Let's see, who's got, who's our best soldiers? McDougal and our master have 14 and 12 accuracy or accuracy shooting. Baron's got 12 accurate or shooting score. All right. Uh, Baron, our master and McDougal. So we'll try to shell the, the psychic ship part. So it stops making our mood bad. And then when it kills that, It'll make all these pikemen and lancers come after us, and then we'll just um, do what we always do and defend the colony. Oh, you came back to mechanoids. Yep. Yeah, you did. I also have like 50 50 on shooting and melee in my game for once. I usually have like 80%. Uh, yeah, I. I tend to lean towards shooters just because it's safer to be a shooter. But you can give melee pawns like Arrowmaster here a shield belt and he can walk right up to people and whap them. Or you can give him a jetpack. But you can't give him both. And I opted to have him with the shield belt over the jetpack. Now you eventually can make locust armor which has armor that has the jump packs built into it and then they can jump pack and wield the shield belt. Can we make that yet? We can make recon and marine armor. Okay, what am I missing? Oh, we need a, a tech thingy in order to make the jump packs. All right, when uh, my soldiers wake up, we'll go back to... We'll try to siege this down. All right, our master's awake. Tell them to man the mortar. Who else were we waiting on? McDougal? McDougal's awake. Oh, he's fed and happy. You man the mortar. Oh, thanks, CL. I think this will be trivial. We just gotta pop this thing. And then these guys will wake up. But our, uh... Our kill box will force them into a tight zone where we can shred them with our heavy SMGs. Yeah, see, they woke up, but they're not gonna... They're gonna defend this. They're not gonna come raid me yet. Well, if each mortar shell does five, uh, 200 damage, we're just going to hit this five more times in, like, 20 shots. 
Oh, hey, we hit it again. That's pretty good. I don't usually have accuracy this good. That's three in a row. The mechanoids beep boop noises. Yeah. <laughs> they all sound all screechy and groany though. I'm just glad there's no centipedes. Centipedes are the worst mechs to deal with. Oh, that was a miss on the ship part, but he hit four mechs and killed one. Centipedes are so tough. Yeah. It one-shot the pikeman. Yeah, it did. It hit him in the reactor. <laughs> Shut him down instantly. And are they aiming at something? Oh, they're aiming at Karma Kid. Karma, no. No, don't shred the mechanoid. Oh, I didn't assign people to avoid mechs. Okay, that's why we're having problems. Alright, two more hits. One more hit. I set the zone to avoid... <laughs> I cleared out the spot, but I forgot to tell everyone, Hey, don't go over here. Do you get to scav the bots for parts? Oh, yeah, you do. Uh, I, they can drop steel, plasteel, and components, I believe. I just need one more hit on this. One more hit. Hey! Alright. And look, there's advanced components, free steel... Plus, you can smelt the steel that they crash land in on. Alright. Alright, now I think they're heading towards us. Yeah. Alright, we need to close that door. McDougal, I need you. Wait, I need all of our soldiers. Okay, I need our master to eat his food. Arizona. Josh. Jay. King Kage. Need him to shut this door. All right, perfect. Oh, he's visiting a grave. I need you to defend the colony, not grieve. Oh, I gotta tell our animals to get indoors. Oh, they killed one of the Great Danes in one shot. Ugh. Oh, darn Sig's got tattered apparel. He needs a new scarf. Yeah, I just got... To, oh. I just had one dog die, so I got two more, and then they, or three more, and they killed another one. Let's 
Stream dead again? Oh, that was F for the dog. Okay. I saw... I saw an F and then a rut row, and I was like, oh god, YouTube's going down again. Oh. Okay, no, our master's fine. He's tough. Yes, poor space puppies. Pouring one out for the dogs as we speak. Uh, yeah. That is one slow pikeman. Uh, his leg got cracked from the mortar shot. His leg has literally one HP left. This one, <laughs> his, his rear leg and foot got hit by the mortar twice. So, yeah, that's why he's moving so slow. Alright, we get those last two pikemen. Oh, no, there's another one lagging all the way out here. Wait, why is this one going this way? He shouldn't be going this way. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, where's Arrow? No, nope, Mares, don't go that way. took care of it. Alright. Uh, inside is the new zone. <laughs> Everyone keeps walking out. If I'm gonna die, I'm taking the dog down with me. What a horrible me mechanoid to have such a, a view on life. Okay, if there's only one one left, I might just send arrow after it. <laughs> this guy he made it <laughs> he made it Now what happens? Oh, now he's gone. Alright, I'll send Everyone's all allowed to go do their thing. Uh, arrow. Go knock this one out real quick. And then we can go back to uh, the regularly scheduled rim worlding. Yeah, our, uh, our master got shot in the chest by a charge rifle. And it didn't crack his skin. He's not even wearing... I Do I have armor on him? Oh, he has a flak vest. Okay, thank God he has some armor. Like, even then, if it even hit him through the chest, he just shrug it off and go back to... <laughs> shooting them. <laughs> Nano machines. Why won't you die? See, so, like, it's gonna stop and aim. Oh, <laughs> dink. <laughs> Did you hear that shot? Bounced right off his shield belt. Oh, don't even care. Not even phased. And one shot. Arrow hit the pikeman in the rear right leg, leaving a horrific wound. The pikeman stopped functioning.
Shield belt, son. <laughs> they respond to ranged trauma. The pikemen stop functioning sounds so traumatic. Dramatic, yes. Did we make another poor uniform? Who's making these low quality uniforms? Awful? Oh, that's a tunic. Okay, someone. Shield belts can't stop a giant sword, though. Well, that pikeman didn't have a giant sword. We had nothing to worry about. Okay, Darn Sig needs a scarf. We have a scarf somewhere on this list. Don't we? Now I'm questioning my own sanity. Have we not unlocked? No, I swear we've made scarves before. Hat, hat, fail. The only problem with vanilla expanded, too many items. And this isn't searchable either. No, we have not researched it. It's under casual wear. Oh, but since it was asked, yes, as you can observe, mares is bringing the body of one of the pikemen to the uh, smith machining table and he's going to shred it for parts. Ta-da! And it turned into free steel. It's free steel, baby. Like that free real estate commercial, but it's free steel instead. Okay, our master's going to sleep off his one bruise. Oh, he's almost fully healed. Cracked a rib, bruised his chest. Totally fine otherwise. Try this one wacky trick to get free steel. <laughs> Clicking Q's menu right? Yeah. To absolve for his crime against puppers, he's turned into a robot dog. Oh! Do they have cyber dogs? I, I'm... That's such a dumb question. It's RimWorld. There's every mod... Everything is moddable. I'm sure they have cyber dogs. We can get, um, we can make our own Blade Wolves. Android Expanded has it? Okay, cool. How does, uh, how does Blade Wolf song go again? What is it called? song. Uh-oh. Abex Ram has gone mad. Oh, we were gonna hunt it anyway, so <laughs> one way or another, we'll get our meat. Nice timing. Yeah, 10 seconds should be fine. Couldn't handle the sick, nasty tunes. <laughs> There's a good remix, actually, of it. Or is this other theme the hot wind blowing? No, hot wind blowing someone else's theme. 
Yeah, that's the boss's theme. For uh, the Blade Wolf DLC. Kamsen, yes. Uh-oh. The Ram wants Arrow. Yeah. <laughs> oh. The arrow just... <laughs> uh, Ibex Ram slammed Arrow in the torso. Arrow shattered the Ram's neck. <laughs> A missing body part caused the Ram to expire. <laughs> he knocked its head off. Well, he, he got bruised, so he's going to come take a nap. Red Sun is good. Yeah, if I if I did a karaoke stream, um, Red Sun would be one of the Metal Gear Rising songs I'd put on there. Arrow literally had the music playing in his brain. <laughs> oh, one depressed prisoner. Uh, Calcus Zero, a dame of the Orange Empire, was caught in bed with the wrong person. She imprisoned the in inappropriate lover in a show of rejection. Now she wants you to keep the prisoner. Erica Squirt Kipo. <laughs> what a nickname. Uh, caged until the scandal blows over in 25 days. Squirt is sick with blood rot and will require daily treatment. Uh, cannot be cured outright. If the disease becomes severe, Squirt will die. Uh, let's see. We can get a legendary shirt and helmet. I like the orbital beam targeter. Psychic sensitizer. And some jade. Oh, hyperweave, though. I think I'm going to go for the middle one. Uh, the orbital beam targeter. If we get, like, uh, attacked by siege uh, siege raiders, I've just called down an orbital beam on them before and just, like, nuked them from the sky before they can get set up. Plus, hyperweave is some of the best material in the game, and more mining can't hurt. So, um, we need to have a prison cell set up to receive them. Oh, we do. Um... It's still kind of cold in there. If I tell this to work just a little bit harder. Orbital beams are just by God's light. I smite you. Yeah, and they're so good. I tried using it on a mechanoid stream. Uh, stream. I tried using it on a mechanoid one time and it did not. Did not go very well. Turns out mechs are kind of. Immune to fire. Blood rot, the greatest SCD known to man. Ugh. Yeah, I would if I was the dame, Calcus Zero, <laughs> and I got caught with someone <laughs> nicknamed Squirt. I'd be like, all right, hang on. I gotta save my political points. I gotta imprison this person. Jeez. Oh, you got a siege raid in the game. Yeah. If you have an uh, orbital beam, easy to knock him out. Just call down God's laser beam right on top of them and they will uh, expire pretty quickly. It's a 76 year old female too. I don't know. I mean. <laughs> I don't know how old the dame is. So I guess I can't question on that. Maybe they're in their 70s as well. Some good organs in there? No, Karma, we have to keep them alive for a quest. Plus, they're sick. They need their organs or they could die.
These royals need some of God's light. I got some royals right here. Though I think they're just tribute collectors. Yeah, they don't have anything... Anything good. One kidney and one lung is rent. Yeah, but if I take a kidney, she's gonna have a hard time fighting the... Blood rot, right? If she dies, it's a skill issue. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I have autopsy, so if she dies, we can get her organs post-mortem. Alright, is someone tending to her blood rot? Not Darn Sig. Not Cholo. Oh, arrows on it. Alright, good. A blight in the haygrass. Um... I mean, it's winter. I'm not too worried about the haygrass being blighted. A 69% quality. Good job, Arrow. Hey, what's up, Fifi Fona? Oh, it actually regresses the disease. Good. Let Cholo and his scarred brain take care of her. Oh, I forgot. Um What the hell happened? Oh, we were trying didn't we try to implant something on him? And the operation screwed up and now he Wow, I didn't realize screwing up the brain surgery has left him Poor consciousness, poor moving, poor manipulation, poor talking, poor eating. What? They they butchered Cholo. That's sad. He's supposed to be the leader of our colony, too. <laughs> oh, no. I have to go back through the VODs and see what happened. I think I was trying to put the psychic reader implant in him. Rocky, are you okay? That sounded nasty. <laughs> Rocky. You okay, buddy? Oh, he looks okay now. Alright, now we can make scarves. And we're missing that before. Don't feel bad, I started a war with aliens in a game that might lead to mankind being wiped out. I feel like screwing up brain surgery is a few steps below wiping out all of humanity. A little brain damage never hurt anyone. Yeah, but this is like 50% brain damage. Okay, one, two... Three poor ones. Four. Five. Six. Hey, what's up, Gaston? Okay, six poor ones. Out of how many? Nine and 19 is 28. We need how many? 26. 
So we need craft, what, four more? We'll get there eventually. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, FIFA Fona, the bot isn't working tonight. I, I've had all sorts of technical trouble because uh, the stream, stream crashed earlier. So, I don't know. I guess it looks like false advertising. But uh, I'll try to get it fixed for next time. Yeah, I'm sorry. Plus, I also ran through all my festivals. Wait, no, I have one more festival. Um, and we had really bad luck after the stream crash of trying to get new names in, so... Hey, take it easy, Blazing Frost. Hope you have a good night at work. Or good day, depending on where in the world you are. Wait, I think you're I think you're someone who works over the night, don't you? You got the graveyard shift. Yeah, <laughs> good luck with that, man. Okay, I'm gonna make an executive decision. Mares is the only one who's allowed to make these military uniforms. Hey, we have visitors. McDougal's uncle is among them. All right, I guess I'll let Arrow make this scarf for uh, Darn Sig to wear. Karma Kid was trying to steal the scarf. It's not Karma's scarf. That we can make 20 scarves. That way everyone can get one. It might be useful to for helping to stay warm. In this boreal forest. Oh, fox versus a bear. Oh, bear's not taking any damage. Alright, the fox lost. Sorry to anyone rooting, rooting for the fox in that one. Wait, am I might... I thought I had three Great Danes. No, I had two and a wolf. So I'm down to the one Great Dane and a wolf. Sag. Alright. Uh, in game tomorrow, we will try one more festival, try to get one more recruit. Imperials are leaving because of the dangerous temperature. Well, it was you guys who wanted to visit during the winter anyways. I'm just preparing ahead. We have this whole growing zone to ourselves now. Oh wait, they're not melding. They're two different zones. Crap, how'd I screw that up?
Prison break? Why, why are you trying to leave, Squirt? We gave you good food. Your mood's actually okay. You're sick? I can't help that. You're hungry, eat something. Darkness? Alright, I'll build a light bulb in there. You can have one light bulb. Alright, um... Hey, what's up, Nutters Nutty? Squirt definitely did not plan this out, my guy. It's snowing. Yeah, well, I mean... You're a 76-year-old woman with blood rot and a bag, bad back. No weapons. And you're gonna break out of here? This is gonna hurt. Uh, I actually don't know if I have anyone nearby who can uh, handle this without killing her. Well, we're just going to have to knock you down. Uh-oh. Conkers, come on. It's an old woman. Hey, melee level three. You have a steel club. All right, I tried to arrest her and uh, that didn't go well. All right, uh, who do I have nearby that can deal with her once she picks up that gun? Grandma got hands, yeah. Um, wait, didn't you guys get married? Hang on a second. Yeah, Karma Kid and McDougal are married. They can have that bed now. Quick, somebody take her to Kane. Um, she's. I didn't expect King Kage to shoot her in the head and destroy her kidney at the same time. Well, she took out a gun, so I thought we we needed a gun to deal with her. <laughs> uh, magic bullet, yeah. I think it ricocheted off the uh, bad back there and destroyed the kidney. Uh, let's see, death in seven hours. All right. We'll have our doctor deal with her. It seems like the power of an enemy stand. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I hope she doesn't get an infection from all those injuries. And I hope uh, her blood rot doesn't make it harder for her to recover from an infection. Chunks of spacecraft landed nearby. Hey, I'll take the freebie. Wait, no. Uh, oh, okay, that worked. She's tough. Yeah, let's see. She got shot in the head, shot in the chest, which killed her kidney, bruised by a mace, in the chest, in the leg, in the foot. Oh no, shot in the foot and then bruised in the hand. Well, yeah, I was uh, a <laughs> recruiter. She's a legend. Uh, I want the quest reward. Which has hyperweave and an orbital beam targeter. 
Surprised she even lasted that long. Yeah, when I saw Headshot, I was like, oh, we we put her down accidentally. We killed Grandma by accident. Tis but a scratch moment. Oh, I forgot about the psychic scream from the anima tree. It was in the way. We aren't tree hippies, though, so it doesn't do us any good. Okay, so in here, we want to plant corn, I think. What we're working on down here. Uh, crypto sleep. So my idea with a big cornfield is corn takes a long time to grow, but it has a lot of yield. Then you can just paint over the whole green tile. Uh, if I build off of an existing zone, it'll keep it as one zone. Whereas before I did like one and then one and they didn't meld together. Yeah, she was going to come bite off our kneecaps. Oh, I also have a massive cornfield. The only drawback I can see to having all that corn is I don't know if my food storage is big enough, so I might have to build another storage, maybe another kitchen. Conquers, hopefully, is going to get better. Not enough storage for food sounds like a good thing. Yeah. First world problems. Hey, Mare's created a, a legendary plain leather scarf. How about that? Why isn't Mare's working on the military uniform? He should be working from the top down. Okay, now he's working on it. All right. For whatever reason, the game was waiting for Cholo to finish his, but I don't think Cholo was going to finish his anytime soon. <laughs> Gosh, is there a way to fix his brain? The healer serum would work, right? Not the resurrection serum. Healer mech serum, right? Hey, what's up, Ice Yamamoto? I could kill him and use the resurrection serum. I don't have one of those handy. If you have EPOE, extended prosthetics, you can make an AI chip with brain surgery. I don't I don't have that one. I didn't know that was an option. But yes, yeah, so we can fix <laughs> we can fix bad brain surgery with more brain surgery. But yeah, it sounds like if I get a healer mech serum and administer to it to him. It, on the wiki it even says uh, great for colonists with brain damage, dementia, and frailty. I was like, oh, we definitely have the brain damage. So yeah, Cholo is at the top of the list of the healer mech serum if we find it. Alright, we got, we got Squirt <laughs> patched back up.
Okay, uh, can I do the other festival today? It was the advent of justice. 99%? I'm missing a kneel pillow? No, oh, we can... We can run it at 99%. Who cares? Oh, Cholo, <laughs> Cholo's leading it. Cholo, I hope you can still <laughs> lead a uh, ceremony <laughs> despite your difficulties. Okay, at least it's a speech in a party and not just a speech entirely. party with little speech bubbles. <gasps> we did get a wanderer to join. Saihi the warrior. Shooting, melee, ascetic, and trigger happy. Excellent. Alright, this is a good pawn. Alright, so the bot won't add new names, but it can pull from the names already here. Cicero. Okay, I just named someone. So uh, if someone wants to try typing exclamation point join and seeing now that there's a space available, if it'll work. Because maybe I have it capped at 20. I don't know when I did that. It should make you number 15. Oh, no, the bot's not working. Okay, that time it showed the bot as offline. Okay. Now try. <laughs> Alright, well, Cicero, you don't have to do anything, but... Uh, Hunt? Hall clean research. Nope. Okay, so it wasn't... Oh, wait, nope. Hang on. It added you at 20... Number 22, though. I wonder if I did cap it at 20 and I didn't expect that many names. That's my fault. But I don't want to redo it, because if I redo it, then I have to tell everyone to rejoin. Oh, decisions, decisions. Or maybe I thought I would recruit that many people that uh, it wouldn't... Um, it wouldn't affect it. No, I feel like I want to give everyone a chance, so maybe... I don't know. I'm surprised the bot is working though. I'm I, also I'm surprised that it doesn't have an error message where it says the queue is full. Please try again later or something like that. Oh, I guess you can put on the combat uniform. Oh well, congratulations. To, oh, Ice made it in. Cicero got named. Cicero is the latest soldier. Oh, soldier. That means we need to get him. Because he's got high shooting. We're going to need to make a heavy SMG for him. Actually, Merlin probably needs 
Nah, he's got double revolvers that, <laughs> and one shooting score. So he, I'm not gonna use him as a soldier as much as I'll use uh, Cicero. Cicero's more will be a more dedicated soldier. But a decent pawn. Uh, trigger happy is nice, so he'll shoot more often uh, with less care for accuracy. But with a burst weapon like the heavy SMG, it's not going to be that big a deal. But ascetic. This trait is like the opposite of jealousy. So, uh, doesn't care if they have an ugly bedroom. Dislikes fancy food, prefers to eat raw, never judges others by their appearance. So they won't get enough, they won't fight someone because they're ugly. They don't want fancy food, they don't want a fancy bedroom. Aesthetics are so easy to please. But at the same time, too, I don't think they get. Uh. They don't get stat ups from like comfort as like the trade off, right? Oh no, there is comfort. Let's see if like luxury. Uh, I don't think luxury comfortable will trigger here. See here, like, uh,. I thought it's not comfortable. Extremely comfortable in Meow Mew. Oh, quite comfortable. Okay, never mind. They do get comfort bonuses. I guess they only in. Oh wait, it no, it worked for Silent Guy. Oh, Nutter's Nutty. I think you're already on the list. Yeah, you're already Nutter's Nutty. You're number twelve. Uh, guys, it looks like the bot is working, and it wasn't because I was capped out. Uh, so those of you who tried to get in earlier, uh, you can get in now. It looks like the bot woke up. <laughs> Just now finding out there's stat ups from comfort and I've been treating my colonists like prisoners in a gulag for no reason. Yeah. Um, comfort is a very important stat for them. Yeah. You can't join a second time. So if it doesn't tell you you got a position, uh, then you're, it, I would assume you're already in. Icky, I'm pretty sure you're like number two on the list. Oh, you're number seven. Yeah. Just hasn't picked you yet. Um, now, as far as comfort goes, the maximum comfort is you do something like this. Or you make a five by five room and you give them a, a dresser and an end table and put some artwork in there maybe. Actually... Here you go. Never lucky. Yeah, you have lucky number seven. You haven't been picked yet. Like, here you go. Darn Sig's got the wool drape. But um, a more efficient layout, I like to do the barracks. And you can put four beds in a spiral pattern like this around one end table. And the end table will apply its effect to all four beds. Actually, this bed is screwed up. You have to have the pillow touching the end table for it to count. That one's not counting. Um, so for example, over here, I have a little, <laughs> I have a little hotel area for the hospitality mod. So my guests will come. I can hit, see eight guests in here. This dresser applies to all the beds and the end tables applied to the beds. And then there's a heater in there to keep them from shivering to death right next to the hospital too. But, um, barracks. I want to see. They get a mood buff for an impressive barrack, I think. Decent barrack is minus three. So you can be more space efficient and, and have a good barrack and it's like a minus three mood buff or debuff. So it's not that bad. What, what do I get over here for giving Baron Von Kame his own bedroom? A plus two. But like how much space to like Look at all the space to fit three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or all this space to fit eight. 
Uh, if you watch Adam versus Everything, he plays a lot of RimWorld. He'll make stacks, like just one giant barrack, <laughs> the whole game. Uh, but he'll, by this point in the game, he usually ha he's pretty good with the mechanics. He could probably have double this many colonists. So, yeah, if you're really pushing the population limits, uh, you might have to go for the more space-efficient setup. But if I can get everyone to keep marrying each other, like Arrow and Josh, Darn Sig's engaged to someone, Aura and Arizona, McDougal and Karma... I'm okay with this. If I can get everyone paired off, married to each other, sharing a bed, that's decently space efficient. Plus, they're always happy to sleep with their, their partner because then they can get some loving and then that's a, a stat, uh, a mood buff. Yeah, see, look. McDougal got some loving, so he's got a plus eight to his mood. And he got married recently, so that's a plus 40 mood buff for 22 days. Uh, opinion of my partner, another plus 10. Do I have a love enhancer? No. <laughs> I don't think so. No. Um, Abby has a love enhancer. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, King Kage is doing nothing? Wait, can we find some work for him? No one to warden, entertain, hunt? What about train? Any animals to hunt? Yes, there's a handful. Go get them, King Kage. But yeah, the stopgap when it's just like a single bedroom, not as good as if they're uh, if they're married. If I start getting there, the max number of people I can sustain in one colony, I just start what I like to call the Imperial Guard approach. Uh, do you start doing the um, the Spartan thing where you like start heavily inspecting? Uh, the P your recruits, and you go. Oh, you're over thirty. You can't join us. Oh, you got asthma. You can't join us. Up, oh, you're a pyromaniac. You can't join us. Because I know Adam is pretty consistent with that too. Oh, Cicero's trying to hunt with his auto pistol. I just said whoever's the weakest, weakest on impossible missions and collect the bodies after they die. <laughs> Unethical, yes. Efficient, also yes. Cicero, do not accidentally shoot that mega sloth. That thing will kill you. Sorry, hiccups, guys. Too much energy drink. Or energy potion. Sorry, I forgot my roleplay for a second there. What, Rocky? At least this is training his range stat, even if he can't hit the thing. I was about to say potion. Yep. Oh. Okay, we did deconstruct the spaceship chunks. Nice. Imagine having 100 pawns in a colony. I, I gotta think it gets tricky after like 30. 
not able to select a soul. Yeah, I think the UI at the top here shrinks the more people you have. So I'd have to imagine at 100, it's it's got to be real tiny. <laughs> at that point, you're playing StarCraft. You got to have... Uh, you got you gotta have like control groups set up. You need a supercomputer for that. Yeah, I've seen some raids where it spawns in like 400 tribals, and the game just starts going. All right, we're a slideshow presentation now. <laughs> we're no longer a video game. Hey, Arizona's crafting went up. Is Cicero still chasing that raccoon? Oh, he hit it. Good job, Cicero. Where the game goes from frames per second to seconds per frame. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I like that. That's a good way of describing it because that's exactly what happens. Have we cycled back to the original? Oh, no. We've played almost 10 days so far tonight. That's right, Rocky. Cicero got bored and went to clean something. He's leaving the raccoon for someone else to kill. Though, if we leave it alone for 13 hours, it'll just expire on its own. Hey, Darnsig can now call in his aerodrone strike. That's off a cooldown. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, um, there's five enemies. We need... Uh, let's just form up five soldiers to go take care of it. Actually, do we have enough bedrolls to do that? Do I have any bedrolls? I don't think I have any bedrolls. Oh, wait, no, they might be up here. Three. Okay, we need to make two more. I know with vanilla genetics expanded, if you have a genetic failure swarm get big enough, it spawns enough flies to just blue screen. <laughs> that sounds awful. It's like in Minecraft where people uh, had that glitch where bees would reproduce like at a crazy rate and would just fill up their whole world with bees. And it was so many entities that their computers would lag. Alright, so if there's five enemies, we'll send five soldiers. Um, what are our five good soldiers to send? I thought I had a thing to write on. Oh, it's right here. The room world equivalent of the Halo Ray is just crashing your game. Let's see, we like Aura Master. Should I bring Arrow, even though he's melee only? Oh, McDougal. Who's my other good shot? Oh, Baron. Cicero, I might have... Maybe I should just have him trade guns with Abby. No. Uh, King Kage.
There's always the alternative just being rich enough to build anti-green IEDs. Or n I've never been that rich in a game before. Oh, Josh is sexy as high shooting. I remember in PlayStation 1, I played Sentinel Returns. I found a bug that gave you infinite energy to build stuff, and I crashed the game placing too many boxes. That sounds like fun, though. You probably were real proud of yourself after you found that bug. Alright. Oh, we'll get through the day. And we made our bed rolls. So we're going to go out, get this stash of treasure. We got a low shield pack, which is an awesome utility item. And the power claw is a nice alternative. I mean, it's a strong melee alternative to a hand. It slows people down, though. But if we ever find someone who's like a transhumanist... And is like, boohoo, I don't have an artificial part. We can just slap them with a power claw. I feel the overwhelming urge to do a leave no survivors run of Rimworld. Oh, what is, what is that? Just uh, <laughs> annihilate the planet, take out everyone else. I want to be a cyborg gives a pacemaker happy now. Well, the people who are body modders, yeah, they'll get unhappy if they don't have an artificial part, but you can raise their happiness by jamming them full of artificial parts. I don't think I have any body modders. It's funny, we were talking about cyberpunk earlier. We don't have, and we have a body purist that's the exact opposite. They don't want an artificial part. So if Josh loses a limb, he'd rather go without than get an artificial one. Yeah, thankfully we don't have any body modders, so we don't have anyone who's crying for any implants or anything. So that lets us kind of give stuff out for free. Or as we see fit. We have an Arcotech arm. I'm trying to do a quest to get a leg. Um, the Arcotech stuff is like the... So scientifically crazy, impossible, how does this work tier of cybernetics? You can't replicate it. So if I really wanted to make a super soldier, I'd put the arm and the leg on them. Like, here we go. An official arm built by an Arcotech. It's strong enough to crush a thick hardwood branch in its hand. Precise enough to write a sonnet on a grain of rice. It looks and feels like natural flesh, is harder to damage, even if it's harmed, it repairs over time. Its inner workings are a mystery to all human minds. Yeah, we want those kind of parts. The transhumanists call us after I give them a hearing aid that makes their healing worse. From the moment I understood the weakness of the flesh, I was disgusted. Huh? The joke there being, I'm saying, ha, huh, because I couldn't hear you because you made my hearing worse. <laughs> that would be me, though. Yeah, transhumanists, you can actually, um, you can give them a peg leg and that'll make them happy. Sorry, it's cold. I'm putting my jacket on. I don't know what happened, but in two weeks, it's gone from. 80 degrees to like 50 degrees. Oh. All right. Got my jacket on now. I'm comfy. It's 1030. I'll probably play about another half hour. So that I can get ready for bed and not be tired for work tomorrow. Then I alt tab to make sure my stream didn't crash. Okay. If 
We have a mod that gives them fingers and toes. You can just crank up the positive parts with wooden digits. Uh, I don't have that mod, but that does sound like a hilarious way. Because it's like the first body part is like a plus three mood boost, and then two is a plus five, and then three is plus seven. And then I think four is a plus ten mood boost. So yeah, I think it... if. If you have a mod where you can replace fingers and toes with prosthetics, then yeah. <laughs> you replace, you know, four fingers and they got a plus 10 mood boost all the time. Imperial Trader. Uh, only darn Sig can trade with them. We can have him go do that now. Actually, probably better I have him do that now before we, uh... <laughs> they, they decide it's too cold and they leave. Man, this guy's got a pink hood. That looks kind of cool. I forgot how you can dye stuff. But I think it'd be pretty neat if we can... <laughs> change away from the brown and the gray that we're all wearing. We don't have far skip yet, do we? No, we need Darn Sig to get one more level. He has Chaos Skip. Yeah, his last ceremony didn't come with a sigh up for some reason but we do have oh, I thought we had a far skip trainer ready oh guess not let's see what do we want from these guys uh, they have components and advanced components they have glitter world medicine that's all good I have a poodle we don't need a poodle they have steel, but we have a ton of steel. Healing factors. This might be pretty good. Uh, we can just sell them, what, like 300 gold? I mean, we've got plenty of money stocked up. So handing the stuff off isn't a big deal. Uh, I could buy a charge rifle... I think those are slightly better than heavy SMGs. So I don't have to make a new gun for Cicero. I can just give him the charge rifle. Do we want to sell any of the uranium to them? <laughs> I feel like I have a ton of uranium. No, I think I'd rather... If I just stick with the heavy SMG, I think that'll be fine. We'll give them like 18, 80. For all the components and everything else. Alright, get that indoors quickly. Get the healing factor indoors so we can use it. All right. Uh, now we need to prepare. Oh, it's three and a half days now. All right. Well, who are we sending? We were talking about sending Josh, King Kage, our master, McDougal, and Baron. Three point two days. Can we make it faster if we send you with the buffalo? Yes. Okay. It is faster if we go with the buffalo. Two and a half days. The simple meal will rot in fifteen days. That's not bad. 
Well, I had the package survival meals for this kind of thing, but if they can get away with regular food, then that'll be fine. Medicine, bed rolls. All right. Oh, no. Four and a half days worth of food. That's not enough food. Why is the game... There. Five and a half days isn't great, but... If it's two and a half there and two and a half back, we need at least five days worth of food. So we're going to have to do it this way. You know, we'll throw in... No, we don't need to send. Some colonists of Dice don't allow most of the food in their caravan. Who? I think that's... Who doesn't like simple meals? <laughs> However, they could be unhappy. They'll be alive. They won't starve to death. We're going to be happy for that. Oh, caribou. We're running low on meat, I think, so caribou just showed up at the right time. Okay, Grandma's still alive and she's doing okay. Uh, do we have auto doors? I'm going to research Starflight Basics. Oh, Caribou Revenge. Other caribou nearby have become enraged. Oh, Abby. Try to get her back home. Keep moving. Don't stand still. <laughs> You've alerted the horde. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> okay, we need to rescue Abby. Actually, this works. Well, okay. Okay. So we just need someone to rescue Abby. <laughs> uh, she took a lot of damage. Oh, she's tough too. Yeah, so she wasn't going to... It wasn't going to be any permanent damage there. I was just... If you get bonked in the head enough times by a caribou, I guess you go down. Actually, you know what, Cicero? I don't want you hunting until you have a better gun. <laughs> he is not tough, so if he gets swarmed by, you know, 20 caribou like Abby, he might not fare as well. I love how we picked up all the animals and brought her gun in and everything, and we haven't, <laughs> we haven't picked her up. She's just laying there and unconscious. That's a lot of bruises. All right, we got her picked up. All right, so. Oh, we can raid this spot for corn. Oh, do we raid them on our way back? 
for their corn, we'll have our five best soldiers. And it's like on the way. We come all the way out here, we get the low shield pack and the power claw. Come here, wipe out these guys, take their corn. I mean, it's the middle of winter, we need our food. Alright, are we close to 26 military uniforms? Okay, we have 27. Minus one, two, three, four, five good ones, or poor ones. So we need 26 minus five, 22, so we need four more. The other issue is our colonists are seeing these military uniforms getting cranked out and they're like, Oh, look, brand new clothes. And thinking about it, I guess I don't hate my colonists wearing mil the military uniform because of the hunting stealth, but also the pain shock threshold. So it keeps them, uh, it raises their threshold for pain by 10%. So they don't get knocked down as easily, which makes them better soldiers. Actually, I think I might grab that corn because we just have all this caribou meat and it's not going to last us. Plus, I sent them out with two muffalo. And the muffalo can carry a lot. And then I was worried about them having enough food. They can eat the eat the corn that's out there. That they gather. That'll be the plan. Hopefully things are smooth sailing. Hopefully the battle at that uh, treasure stash isn't difficult. Hopefully Squirt doesn't try to break out again. You know, I kind of regret not buying that 50 medicine that we had from a trader earlier. <laughs> Because we've used, like, 20 medicines so far just tonight. I know one of the, I guess, commandments for this game is always buy components, but I find myself also always buying, <laughs> always buying medicine. Right, let's get the healing factors. Work on that next. Gets us a coagulator and healing enhancer. Coagulators will be nice. They'll keep people from bleeding out. You should buy money. <laughs> Alright, now Abby. Because of where's my weapon is going to get up and if re she remembers about her heavy SMG, she's going to go pick up that same heavy SMG. The heavy SMG titled Blazing Frost Spider, crafted by Mares. And she's going to go back to sleeping. Wait, I have another... Oh, when did Mares make this? Um, Cicero, we got a new gun for you. Oh, we found more steel underground. <gasps> oh my god. Abby, Cicero, Karma, Conkers, and Cholo all have gotten sick with the plague. Uh... 
And it actually knocked Abby unconscious. Cicero got it. Karma. Conquers. Two, three, four, five. All right. Uh, so when my colonists get sick, I put them on bed rest as their top priority. I don't want them hunting. I don't want them doing anything. I want them to come to the hospital, lay down, and then I need Mew Mew, our dedicated doctor, to come and patch them up. How close are we getting? All right, they've traveled for half a day. They got two more days to go. Wait, why'd she give up tending to Cholo? Oh, Cholo got up out of bed for some reason. Our caravan was ambushed. Wait, is it just the one guy? One guy. <laughs> Alright. Uh, back to what we were doing. Bring bring the beer with you. Why not? You can leave everything else. Oh, what was I going to check? Yeah, we're at 93 of 343 mass. Oh, hey, it's a fray raid. Welcome. And yes, I'm back, Mercenary. I had a... It was either Streamlabs or YouTube. I don't know which one. Uh-oh. Hey, I'm doing pretty good, Frey. I hope you're doing well. Um, We dug too deep, and we have pissed off some insects. <laughs> I forgot that this is a thing that can happen. Um, can we get everyone who isn't sick to come uh, defend? Mew Mew's a doctor. She won't fight. Someone needs to rescue Abby. Yeah, hey Raiders, we're playing uh, some RimWorld. I had some technical difficulties earlier, but uh, we are fixed and back. Okay, I need my gunners in. Don't worry about friendly fire. Okay, did we do it? All right, how badly hurt are we? Era will die in 20 hours. Merlin will die in 10. Mayor's is fine. Actually, everyone else is fine. Good job, everyone. Um, <laughs> we're not gonna dig for a while. I don't have all my soldiers in, in the base. Okay, Cholo picked up Abby. That was nice of him. We also have a thousand steel that we're not doing anything with, so we'll leave. Let's repair. Um, we can actually feed the insect meat to our, our dogs. 
So that's that's some free food at least. We wouldn't want to eat that. Frey, what did you stream tonight? We, did you play more Rust? Arrow, I need you to go... Lay down. <laughs> You're bleeding all over the throne room. Look at this. Arrow was like, yeah, I'm dying, but I'm going to play the harp. How'd you know? I think I saw on Twitter that you were streaming. No, you raided me. That's how I knew you were streaming. What do you mean, how'd I know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? Okay, I'm glad you're laughing at how silly that was. It's 5 a.m. Give me a break. Go to sleep, man. It's about to be 11 p.m. my time, and I'm going to go to bed. Well, I need to make sure no one's about to bleed out or die from the plague. Can't sleep. Sleeping means I can't stream. Actually, yeah, I'm kind of worried about Abby. She's not developing immunity fast enough. Dedicated? Yeah, you gotta be on that grind. Um, where's Karma Kid? I need Karma Kid to preach about health to Abby. That should help her infection or immunity gain rate. Currently sipping iced coffee of a two liter milk jug. <laughs> Bro, I respect the grind, but you gotta sleep sometime. It cannot be good for you to not to go without sleep for too long. Iced coffee sounds nice though, even though it's cold here. All right, we made it through the insect raid. Now we have to raid the other guys and then get them back home and we'll be right back with uh... right back on what we were doing. Yeah, Cholo, just sleep off the plague. It's all I want you guys to do. My arrow's injured, I don't care. Wait, where's Abby? Why isn't Abby sleeping? I have bed rest as your top priority, yet you're getting up and looking at artwork instead. I'm actually glad I hit her with the preach health. Because this also helps with injury healing factor. She's got a lot of injuries. So we should hopefully get her to top uh, full health here soon. Alright, they've traveled for one whole day now. That was nice of Arrow to get up out of his own hospital bed and treat everyone else. All right. Do I stop here or do I push until we... Do I push for one more day? I feel like I'm in like that Civ 6 mode where it's uh, just one more turn, just one more turn.
Well, we've had a lot of activity. We had a a couple a couple raids? No, just one raid. Two two raids if we count the infestation. Three if we count the prison break. <laughs> Almost killing granny. Um Yeah, maybe we save the the raiding for next stream. So that way we have some action next stream too. Grandma Squirt will not be chained. <laughs> what a hilarious nickname. I do love action. Yeah. I was going to say, we're running low on food, but we have what? 60-ish meals? No, 67 simple meals and 33. So we have like 100 meals for 13 people at three a day. Oh, it's going to be close. Thir I said what? 13 people? Three a day. I think that's only two days worth of food. Or am I doing the math wrong? Oh well. We will we're gonna grab all that corn on our way back. There's eight days for us to get the corn, so we have one day to get to the this place. I don't know what the distance from here to here is. If it's roughly the same between here to here it was two and a half days. I gotta assume from here to here to here is another two and a half days. So we should be able to knock out this farming site, hit back home, bring back 1,400 pieces of corn, and keep the colony from starving. Uh, we have some caribou and raccoon, raccoons and squirrels and stuff, so... There's still food to hunt on the map. If we get really desperate, we can attack a grizzly bear or the mega sloth. Which will give us a lot of meat. Okay. We developed immunity from the plague. So Abby is free to do what she wants. Merlin is free. Conquers. Not immune yet. Karma, not immune yet. Cholo, not immune yet. Who else had it? Oh, Cicero. Cicero's immune now, too. Alright. We'll start to get the... If only you had a witch doctor. See, you say witch doctor and all I can think of is World of Warcraft. Uh, the troll witch doctor. Pazdingo man. Man, that was one of the things that Blizzard got right on their RTS games was the... Uh, Clicking on the units in the, the voice lines. The sound effects, the voices, and the music for StarCraft and Warcraft were all really good. Oh, somebody call for the doctor. I also like how the trolls were Jamaican. <laughs> Great accents. <from> <laughs> Alright. I think I'm getting tired. So we'll stop here. We got 
how many more days? They have half a day until they raid the item stash, raid the farming site, and come back home. Oh. A damaged transporter. We could also do this when we get back. Psychic readers, some jade. The shuttle loot, which is just uh, plasteel and steel. And what's the other ingredient? I don't know. Components. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, see a big yawn like that, even though I've been drinking an energy potion this whole time. It's probably bedtime. So... Uh, guys, I'm sorry for the technical difficulties again. Uh, I'm glad we got it working in the middle of, uh, I don't know what happened with YouTube or Streamlabs or whatever. Good news is the bot, we got the bot working in the last couple hours there too. So we got some new names on the queue to be named. Um, tomorrow I won't be streaming. I'm going to be focusing on editing. I'll try to get, um, there's a couple videos I have in mind. If I don't get any of the big videos out, I'll at least uh, I'll get a short out or something. But I'm trying to work on the next part of the edited Elden Ring and the next uh, Fire Emblem. And then I also want to do another RimWorld mod highlight. So that's, <laughs> that's on my to-do list that I'm going to try to get to tomorrow night. Uh, let's see. Next stream will be Thursday. I'm playing a Potion Permit. Brand new game it came out a week ago but hey it's got alchemy and it actually it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun so i hope you guys tune in for that so um but yeah stay dangerous mercenary i hope you guys had fun oh your girlfriend was stoked for potion permit yeah it'll be a good time and uh, let's see what else i don't think i have anything else uh, oh, I know. <laughs> Shameless plug segment. Uh, if you guys liked the stream, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much. And uh, with that, I'm going to tell you guys to stay safe, stay healthy, stay out of trouble. And hope to see you in the next stream or video. But that's going to be a good night for me for now. So bye bye. See you later. Peace out.